Hello dolls. Today I thought I might talk about my tattoos. People are curious about them. A lot of them you can't see, but today I'm going to share all of them with you. And I'm going to start with the first one. I was pretty late to the tattoo experience. I was 39 when I got this first tattoo, which is a Valentine. My ex-husband Michael and I were breaking up, but we were so close still, we decided to just commemorate it somehow. Well, I wanted to, so I got this Valentine on my titty. The next one, um, you know, I'm a very spiritual person. I'm always out of this world somehow in <laughs> another one. <laughs> and I was surrendering to this experience of the allness and everything. And I got a tattoo, I'm a big Jesus girl. So my next tattoo was Jesus, of course. I thought about doing a face of Elvis, face of James Dean, huge heroes of mine. But you know, I thought how, how they might be depicted terribly. So you gotta be careful. But Jesus, no one knows what he looks like or looked like. So this is, this is my version of Jesus. And here he is. And at first, when I got that tattoo, people were almost horrified. This is many years ago. My friend James Infeld came with me and it took hours. He held my hand, I've got photos of us, so painful. The shading on the cheekbones and everything, really hardcore, but I love it. Jesus has got my back forever. The next one was this one, which is similar. It is thy will be done, which is one of my favorite Bible passages. That's when you surrender. You just surrender to the void, right? <laughs> and give it all up, all the bullshit. So that's what that one is. Then I had to have Elvis, okay? I had to have him. So I decided to use his signature. I thought that was pretty easy. So we got this Mark Mahoney, a really famous tattoo guy in LA. He found a really good Elvis signature. And here that is, my Elvis tattoo. And the song Treat Me Nice was the flip side of Jailhouse Rock. I got it when I was a kid. The story's in, I'm with the band. The flip side changed my life. People don't know what a flip side is anymore, but it's the B side of a single record. So that was Treat Me Nice, and I played it over and over and over again. My mom came in and said, would you just please don't play that again? I was listening to the words, and Elvis was teaching me how to treat him nice. And that carried me through the rest of my life. <laughs> Then, I guess my last one, I, I, I need a new tattoo. My last one was my other hero, my other childhood forever hero, James Dean, which is right here on my neck. I first just got his signature, which my dear friend Kip Brown had on a contract for Warner Brothers, so it's his very signature. And then a few years later, I decided to put his birth and death dates on there to make it more elaborate. So those are my tattoos. You know what I'd love? I'd love to see your tattoos.